Hello, Georgetta Gankars here, and today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be trying something different. Um, I usually do it with my students in class, and they always ask me what can they do with their palette. So this is the palette. I have, you know, wax paper. You could have a wooden palette. You could have, you know, a disposable palette. But I tell students instead of doing that, to use an extra canvas, an empty canvas as their palette. And then, you know, they're mixing on here, they're taking the color, moving it to their canvas, and they end up with something like this. So this was all the color that was left on the palette. And then what I usually do is I tell students, well, try to think about what, when you're doing an abstraction, what you can bring out of that canvas. So we did the same method, and last week we made, um, a landscape from it, a beautiful fall landscape. Um, I also um, made figures out of it, an abstract figure. This time what we're going to do is I think, you know, students wanted flowers, so I'm going to make flowers. So I kind of did the outline already. This is kind of like the coffee pot, not coffee pot, <laughs> the um, plant pot that I saw. It's going to be in a potter and this is like I guess a table, and this stuff is going to be the background. These are the flowers. So start thinking about what you can see on the canvas and what you can bring out. And try using a variety of different types of painting materials, like a palette knife, you know, your small brush. If you have a rigger or a liner, it's fine. A smaller knife and uh, a large round brush. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking about what colors that I want to bring out. And I think I want to have some white flowers. So I'm going to put white on my palette knife. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it here. And this is what I was doing, where it only picks up on the edges. So there's another color underneath of here. But if I drag it lightly, you'll see how it only picks up on the edges with the knife. And I could make that into like a green leaf if I want and build up more colors. Um, I can take my large round brush. And what I can do is I can dip it into, let's, let's say I'm going to use a white and a cad yellow. So I'm going to dip it into my yellow my cad white, then again my yellow, dab it off, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it here on the canvas. I'm going to get these nice yellow kind of puffy flowers, and I can go back in there with a different color yellow I want, brighter, and I'm just building up these areas. So now I have my coffee pot here, but I keep saying that, my <laughs> planter pot, and I'm building up these flowers. And again, it becomes more exciting the more tools that you have. Now I'm probably going to use the fan brush. And for the fan brush, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up this area with some more white. So I'm going to dab it and have a little bit of white, some little bit of yellow. And I'm going to drag this up. Maybe this is a flower that's almost like a dandelion you can see through. Again, we're just working kind of with abstraction here. So we have a lot of different things that we can do. And now we kind of have to define the line of this pot. So I'm going to get my small brush. I have a round. It's a number three. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it darker. I'm going to use maybe a phthalo green and maybe I'll use some burnt umber. And I'm gonna outline that pot where the flower sits. And I wanna keep all this goodness in here. I don't wanna lose that, right? That's what makes the painting kind of really interesting. Because I would never really have that if I wasn't using an old palette, right? I wouldn't have this as a kind of recycled. And here's my pot, and I could round the pot. I might change the shape of that. It's coming out. I might make it a little smaller here. Let's do that. And you get really nice textures because you can drag colors on top of each other once they're dry. 
and we start building up the vase for that pot and now we have the flowers and now we can kind of build up this area with the background I think I'm going to bring in some purples and whites um, I don't have to have it all over And I would definitely let it dry. And you're just building up these areas. Here, I might extend. I might make that a darker purple in the corner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend some of my white. That I have in my, with my fan brush over so again try to be creative as you can you know don't be afraid to experiment try something new try a different color you know i'll show you the contrast that we can get here with a fan brush we just bring over this green we have this okay and i'm going to make another flower here So try it again with your pot, maybe set up um, some kind of still life at home if you wanted to, and you can look at that as for an inspiration, but it's kind of just fun to just guess what you, what you can get when you're just playing with the colors and you're not really sure about what's going to happen. And don't be afraid to make mistakes. As I tell my students, it's really good to make a mistake because that's the only way that you can learn right you have to learn how to fix it okay so i'm going to play with this a little bit more and i'll show you how it turns out i'm going to start building up the flowers here this is just the beginning of it again this is our edge of where our flowers are in the pot i think i'm going to define some more stems up here and it's going to get really interesting okay try it let me know how it works for you Ciao.